Hello everyone, I am back again with my next presentation. As you all know, this is a part of Open Educational Resources of Geological Society of Assam to help the student community. The topic of the presentation is Hydrocery, which is a part of Unit 2 Ecosystem. The Learning Outcomes after completion of this presentation, you will be able to define what is hydra or hydrocery, what are the several stages of hydrocery, how the different communities emerge during the process, and what are the characteristics of each stage. An important characteristic of all communities is that Composition and structure constantly changes in response to the changing environmental condition. So there is an orderly progressive replacement of one community by another until a stable community occupies the area. And this is called ecological succession, which you must have already studied in your previous section. So all the communities that we observe today around us have undergone succession over the period of time since their existence. It is a steady, gradual and predictable change. The ultimate aim of this process is to reach equilibrium in the ecosystem and it takes several hundred years to reach stability. Now what is hydrocery or hydrox succession? A succession that originates in aquatic environment, that is water bodies, is called hydrocery or hydra succession. The plant communities passes through several developmental stages in a definite sequence from simple to complex. After all, several changes a habitat becomes occupied by most tolerant species which forms a climax community. The different stages of plant succession taking place at a particular habitat is called a seri. In hydrocery, the steps are phytoplankton stage, submerge stage, rooted floating stage, reed swamp stage, sedge meadow stage, woodland stage and climax stage. A wetland or a bill which is a transitional area between an open freshwater and dry land provides a good example of this and is an excellent place to see the several stages of hydrocery at a time. Let us begin with the first stage, the phytoplankton stage. This is the initial stage of succession in a virgin ecosystem. Phytoplankton and zooplankton like algae, cyclops, cladophora are the first to colonize, hence are called pioneer colonizers. These organisms add large amount of organic matter and nutrients which settle at the bottom. The second stage is the rooted submerged stage. As a result of death and decomposition of phytoplanktons, a soft mud develop at the bottom. As the bottom becomes shallow, light can penetrate and this new habitat now becomes suitable for the growth of rooted hydrophytes like hydrilla, balisneria, utricularia, etc. Rooted floating stage. The third stage is the rooted floating stage when rooted floating plant species begin to grow. The habitat becomes changed chemically as well as physically. The dead remains of plants are deposited at the bottom and the substratum rises up in the vertical direction. And this decreases the depth of the pond. The rooted plants appears. The important rooted plants at this stage are Nilumbium, Nymphia, Trepa, etc. As succession continues, the fourth stage is the reed swamp stage. This stage is also known as amphibious stage. As the plants of this community are rooted, but most part of the shoots remain exposed to air. Chief plant species are Sagittaria, Polygonum, Typha, etc. Their rhizome forms a very dense vegetation and make it more difficult for sunlight to get down into the lower depth of the pond. 
This results in the death of any remaining rooted submerged or rooted floating plant species. The fifth stage is the sedge meadow stage when the pond become marshy. Water level decreases further and the plant species that can live in marshy condition grow. These species absorb water from the pond and release in the form of transpiration. The pond dries up leaving the soil exposed to air. The chief plant species at this stage are Carex, Cyperus, Juncus, etc. The sixth stage of hydrocery is the woodland stage. The soil becomes drier. Accumulation of humus increases the soil fertility. Marshy vegetation is replaced by terrestrial plants. Shrubs, herbs, even small trees appear like Eupatorium, Acacia, Salix, etc. Climax stage. Once an ecological community reaches its complete and mature form, it is called a climax community. The climax stage is stable but not static. Climate determines the vegetation. It may be a forest if the climate is humid, grassland in case of subhumid environment or a desert in arid and semi-arid conditions. In our environmental conditions, trees predominate, hence can be called as a forest stage. Trees like soria or sal, sisu, holong, this can be found in the last stage that is the climax stage of hydrocery. Now let us recap. Hydrocery starts in water body. There are several seral stages of plant and animal communities. Phytoplankton are the pioneer community. The forest or grassland are the climax community. I have also added a few glossary terms for you to study. In this slide, you can see the various seral stages of hydrocery in the Hill Hakubil, Kohati, Assam. For any queries, suggestion or feedback, you can contact me at my email ID. Thank you.